Hey guys, Crystal here from Crystal's Crazy Corner. What is going on with you all? Well, it is the end of July. You know what that means. School is right around the corner. The back to school shopping. End of summer. Well, you know what happens at the end of summer? A lot of people have pool parties. Themed pool parties at that. So I got a project for you. Something tropical. Wanna see? So, for our pool party project. You know, I like doing these budget friendly crafts so you know nothing here costs very much, but it all look good when it's done. Our trusty hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, scissors. Now, what are the main components for this one? I already see a little bit. You know those little plastic lays to get? These came six to a pack. You're going to need some of these. Uh oh. Revealing even more. You're going to need a foam reef. Not very expensive. I picked these up at my Dollar Tree just for decoration. I got some kid sunglasses. And an aloha sign. Perfect for a tropical pool party. Stay tuned. See what I'm going to create. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is get these lays undone. And I'll start out with this one. What's the easiest way to do this? Well, these little cheap lays are actually tied together. So, let me find the end. Of course, this one I'd have difficulty with. Imagine that. Okay. These little lays here are just tied together with string. Now, you can do this one of two ways I have discovered. The easiest way is just to untie them like this, okay? Then, uh oh, there we go. That's the other string. Then what you do is you individually tie your ends back together. And the reason I say this is the easiest way is if y'all have ever messed with hot glue and plastic, ouch! Okay, your end's tied. You don't have to worry about the little. Or your other way you can do it is cut it and hot glue your two ends. But I will warn you now that hot glue will go straight through this cheap little plastic. And hot glue, plastic, fingers, ouch, but I will show you how to do that as well, show you both ways. I use tweezers because like I said, I've burnt myself too many times now. Okay, now your lay is unlaid, but that's how you need it. The other way to do this, let me grab another one here, because you will need numerous, okay? Got your knot again. Pull your knot to one side so that one side is still knotted. Separate it out. Give it a very quick clip. Oof. One side is still together. One side is not. Make sure your string is at the end. Just a teeny dot of hot glue. Don't need a lot. And like I said, hot glue will melt plastic, so please be careful. And I take my tweezers and just make sure that it's not going to come back apart. See? But the bad thing about the hot glue is then you get the hot glue strings. Doesn't make it as neat. So you're going to want to separate 
unlay quite a few lace. Okay? That's step one. Okay, guys, once you got all your lays unlaid, that you're going to need, you're going to need your foam restraint. You're going to really do with this is take an end, find a start spot, doesn't matter where it's round, it's all the same. You just find a start spot, give us some hot glue. Remember, hot glue and plastic. Ouch, so be careful. I'm going to put my strings in there and I'm going to push down. But as you see, I'm making a little poof so that I have a little bit of barrier protection there. And you're going to want to let that dry. Pull off your hot glue strings. I hate those things. And then all you do is twist. You can make it as loose or as tight as you want it, depending on how many lays you have. And then your other end, you're going to do the exact same thing too. You're going to tuck it under so that you're hiding your strings. And as you can see, it's going to take quite a bit. That's why I had multiples. So you got your first lay attached. Now you're going to bring in your second. So what you're doing here is where you had that topped, okay? You want it to just go right with it. So you're going to add your hot glue in. Bumping those colors right together. Ouch! Hot glue plastic. Told you.
make sure you tuck your in. That way it all looks continuous. Nobody can tell where it starts and where it stops. Tropical enough for you? Hmm? Let's add a little decoration to it. All right, guys, so we have our tropical lay reef made. You can either leave it like that, nice and colorful, can be used outside, not a problem, or plastic. But I personally found some items at the Dollar Tree, imagine that, budget friendly, that I'm going to attach to this using Rusty hot glue gun, you know it. So the first thing I did is I picked up an Aloha sign. And we're gonna just stick that right in the middle. Alrighty. So we just attach the Aloha sign that I picked up. And you can use whatever you want. You don't have to decorate it at all. I just wanted to add a little something something to it. As you can see, I'm just running some lines of hot glue. You see that plastic starting to melt. And I'm just going to add a little bit of pressure to it. And I've already done the other side. I'm going to turn it back around here like this. Now, I also picked up Move this back just a little. Some kid sunglasses. And the really cool thing with just hot gluing this in sections is you can take these kid sunglasses lift the section. Ah, can't see, can't see. Lift the section and slide it in. And I'm going to add just a little bit of hot glue right here. You don't have to. That way, if you do have kids, you can still let them swipe the sunglasses. <clears throat> but uh, I don't have any little ones that are going to be wearing those types of sunglasses, that's for sure. And then I have another pair. And I'm going to stick up here. feather it in just a little underneath. Oops, I broke it out the wrong side. Come on. You don't want your end to shine. <laughs> and then just reef up your reef and hot glue that in. And that's all there is to it. Budget friendly, pool party, tropical, aloha reef. Another project completed by Crystal's Crazy Corner. If you like, please like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all.